What's up creators, it's Curtis. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate my designs with your Shopify stores. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm over under the settings page inside of my My Designs account. The first thing I wanna do is go down to integrations and then click on Shopify. Now from here, you, do, you see there's no shops connected yet. Um, so we need to get the details to basically connect our Shopify store to my design so that we can publish print on demand products and in the future digital products as well. Um, so first we need the shop name. Now Shopify gives you a, a subdomain every time you set up a new store. So that's what we need to get. So in this case with the my designs dev account over here, we're going to grab this my designs dash IO. That's all we need. You don't need the dot my shopify.com, uh, part of the domain. You just need the store name essentially. So I'm going to go back to settings and input that here. Now we need to get an access token and the API secret key. And the way we do that is we create a simple custom app inside of our Shopify account, which only takes a few minutes. So let's go right, get right to that. So I'm over here in the My Designs Dev Shopify store. The first thing you want to do is go over to the left hand menu and look for apps. So you're going to click that. And now you'll see this app and sales channel settings um, option. So just click that. And that'll pop up these settings here. So up here, you have this little develop apps icon. You want to click that. And now you should see a screen like this that says create a custom app. So you'll click this little green uh, create an app button. And you can name this my designs. And just whatever email you prefer, you can put it in here. So I'm going to leave it as the default. Now click create app. Now we got to configure the admin API scopes. And this is really easy. So I'm going to click this. And now you can search through these scopes. They're all here. As I scroll down, you can see all the different API scopes. We don't need access to all of them, but there are 18 in particular that we do need access to. And you can find that in the tutorial section in the community. If you go to tutorials, you look for the how to integrate Shopify with my designs. I'm going to scroll down to the access scopes right here. <clears throat> so you'll see them right here. So read products, write products, read product listings, write product listings, and so forth. So there's 18 different access scopes. So what I'm actually going to do is just throw that over on another screen. And then I'll go through that over here. So the first one is read. So you can actually search them. So read like this. Read products, write products. So I'm going to select both of those. And then go to read product uh, listing. And write product listing. We need both of these as well. And then read orders and write orders. We need both of these. And then read customer right here and write customer. So we need both of these. And again, you can find this information in the tutorial and write shipping and read shipping. I'm gonna select both of those. And then inventory, read inventory, write inventory, and then read fulfillments and write fulfillments. So you can see it's pretty easy. It just takes a few seconds. Um, then we need read assigned fulfillment orders and um, write assigned fulfillment orders. And the last one here is read third party fulfillment orders and write third party fulfillment orders. And if you did it right and you selected all 18 of them, you'll see in the selected section, I can get rid of this. Um, I have 18 of them selected and you can actually just browse those quickly if you wanna double check everything and make sure it's good. Now, if you accidentally don't select any of these, you can always come back and add them so it's not that big of a deal. But in order for my designs to work fully with your Shopify store, you wanna select all 18 of these um, admin API scopes. So now that that's done, you literally just click the save button and it's basically done. So now what we need to do is click install app after we save it. So I'm gonna click install and then confirm. And in this section, it takes us to the API credentials tab. So what you need is this admin API access token. You do not wanna give this to anybody, it's yours, keep it secret, but reveal the token once and then copy it by clicking this icon. You can see that's copied to clipboard. So I'm gonna go back to the My Design settings and under access tokens, enter access token here. So that's where you want your access token. Then we need the uh, API secret key as well, which you'll see down here, API key and secret key. We don't actually need the API key, but we do need this API secret key. I could reveal it or just copy it like this. Again, copy to clipboard. Go back to the My Design settings, enter that here. And now that I have all of these in place, I just click add new shop. And if everything works correctly, you'll see your shop appear here. And now you can, of course, uh, turn on manual order fulfillment, accepting external orders. The settings are all here. 
and then you can actually edit the return address for your shop and you can do this for so if you had multiple shops this is how you could edit the return address if you want a different return address for each shops but that's it that's how easy it is to connect your shopify stores with my designs now that it's done this is this tutorial is more about connecting your shop but i just want to show you quickly how you can publish um, you can go over to the listings page just like you published to etsy it's all the same you hit publish you go to products and in the drop down you'll just select shopify now from shopify you could just say if you had multiple stores you could select them here but then you could go through this publishing process like you're familiar with publish products in bulk and of course when orders happen on shopify they're going to route through my designs automatically fulfillment will be taken care of just as you're already used to but that's how easy it is that's how you can set up your shopify store and integrate it with my designs i hope that helps if you have questions let me know by leaving a comment under the tutorial for this particular um, setting so that's it talk to you soon